Here's Rakeeb with Private Eye. This is Rakeeb Castay with the Private Eye. Last week, we got up close and personal with the Student Village. We heard your stories, got your concerns, and brought up a key issue of students' welfare possibly being at risk. This week, we're picking up where we left off. We're going to be talking to an AMS representative, a landlord, and a politician to get their perspective on the Student Village. The majority of the Student Village houses back to pre-World War I and are now mostly privately owned and rented. Queen students have always lived in the village, but nowadays the number of us living here has exploded. Conveniently located to classes and downtown, the village core is found between Union and Princess and Barry and Albert. Someone who is very familiar with this area is Bill Glover, a former Queen's grad. Bill is the representative of the Sydenham district here in Kingston, which includes the village. The student housing area uh, has been subject of interest and concern for me for several years and when you talk about the condition today I think you want to start a little while ago 2004-2005 when uh, there were significant events uh, causing great concern in the community at large students were saying what about the hypocrisy that you're concerned about the way we behave but you don't care about how we live look at our housing condition and, and at that time, I became very interested in the condition of student housing. and I've been trying to follow it ever since. In 2007, I brought forward a motion calling on the Chief Administrative Officer to set up some working groups to examine various issues, including student housing, inviting Queens to bring their people and their issues to the table. Hilary Windrum is one of the members of the AMS that works with Glover as a Municipal Affairs Commissioner. Um, if they're having problems with their landlord, um, what I would usually say is, um, again, send the landlord a very clear letter to the uh, address that is listed on your lease, outlining, you know, perhaps you're disappointed with their behavior, perhaps they've broken um, the lease or they've broken the, uh, any of the um, guidelines that you set as a tenant, um, and outline, you know, in very clear language what your expectations are. Uh, and then if those are not met, um, you know, you have the option to go to a landlord and tenant tribunal um, if it does go that far. The Golden Cockroach um, Award and what was, was formerly called Key to the Ghetto now is called Key to the S Student Village um, were awards that were uh, trying to raise awareness to uh, the best and worst landlords of the student housing area. Um, the award wasn't specifically for the landlord but for the homes. Um, so in the past it's been given to some pretty atrocious homes. You know five years ago we had a house who uh, the walls were almost coming down because there was so much mold. Um, and it really drew students' awareness uh, to the conditions that they and their peers were living in. One who has benefited from the AMS Housing Awards is Robert Reed, a recipient of the Key to the Ghetto and a highly sought after landlord who has set the bar high for exceptional student housing. The year that we received the Key to the Ghetto, it actually was not one of our newer properties. It was actually, I think, our relationship and the management of uh, the property with the students that got us nominated. Um, so I think it is sort of both the quality of the accommodation and how you treat the tenants. I think it's obviously a two-way street. When you give a property to a student or a tenant, uh, you expect to sort of get it back in sort of similar condition. Although there continues to be problems in the student village, it is clear that there have been major changes for the better. And there are people who are committed to making the student village a safe and healthy community. But it is up to the students to take a proactive role, which means understanding your legal rights and thinking outside the box that is the student village. This concludes our investigation on the student village here at Queen's. Tune in next week as we uncover the truth behind Queen's negative reputation. For The Private Eye, this has been Rakeed Pesfay.